Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to look at adding terms and conditions to your Business Central reports. To demonstrate how to add terms and conditions, we will use the Fornaf file storage table and the reports from the Fornaf customizable report pack. However, you can add terms and conditions to any report in any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To demonstrate adding terms and conditions, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will add a payment note to the Fornaf setup. In step three, I will use a label to add payment terms. In step four, I will use a separate PDF file with uh, payment terms. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be adding terms and conditions in a Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2020 Wave 2 release. I've installed the Fornaf customizable report pack and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Please note that you need Fornaf version 5.4 or above. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central Cloud environment. I also have the Fornaf Designer installed on my PC. The Fornaf Designer can be downloaded from the Fornaf website. The easiest way to get a short payment note on your reports is by adding one on the Fornaf setup page. You can add legal conditions there as well. The maximum length of these fields is 250 characters. Well, let's go and have a look at that and see what it uh, looks like on our reports. If I open the Fornaf setup, we will find the payment note and the legal conditions here. And in the payment note, I can type something like, please pay in 14 days. We can add some legal conditions or else. And once we've added this, we can open a Fornav report. So let's just play with one of the standard reports, like the sales template. And if I preview this, you will notice we have a please pay in 14 days right here on our report. And at the bottom, if I zoom in a little bit further, we have our legal, legal conditions on the bottom of the report. If you need to add a longer text, or if you need to use report variables in your text, you can use a label control. For a label control, obviously we'll need to design the report. So I will open the Fornaf sales template in my designer. And a label control is a multi-language control that we usually use to add labels to our reports, but we can add longer text in those as well. So I'm going to add a new footer to my uh, to my lines section. There I will add a new label and obviously make it a bit bigger. And if I go and add the multi-language caption, normally we would add a single caption right here, uh, like, a, like a, a caption for a field or something. But if we drill down here, Fornaf will open a text editor where we can add uh, longer bits of text and we can format the text here as well. So if I take a pre-typed bit of text, you will notice we have a, uh, a fairly long bit of text here and we can use text formatting like underlined and we can also insert fields from our data set. So if I go to insert and insert a field, I can use any field from my data set so I can use the field lookups from my header to get the payment terms description. And if I click OK, you will notice that text will be inserted in the text between double brackets, which tells Fornaf that we need to uh, do the field lookup right here. I'm going to save as HTML because I've used text formatting and a field lookup. So save as HTML and hit OK. And if I now preview my report, you 
you will notice that my text is printed on the report and that the uh, payment terms description has been uh, added to that bit of text. So the payment shall be due in one month and 2% eight days. Finally, we want to use a separate PDF file for our terms and conditions and append that to our report. A lot of customers have really big uh, terms and conditions files, and it's easiest if we can simply append those to the reports. And with 4.5, 5.4 or above, we can do this. And the first thing we need to do is add the file to our 4.5 storage table. I can open my 4.5 file storage and I can type a code. Code will be terms and the type will be append. The terms and the code and the term and the type. Uh, you can define them yourself and you can either define something that you can use to get uh, the file or you can use a customer number, for instance, if you want to get it based on the customer number or uh, anything else. I will click to import and choose a file, which will be my terms and conditions file. And that's ready to, ready uh, to go. So now I have a terms and conditions file in my 4NAV file storage table. And the next step is for me to tell 4NAV to get that terms and conditions file and append it to the report. And that, of course, I need to do in my 4NAV designer. And the first thing I need to do is add a record to my data set because I need to get data from a database in business, from a date, from a table in Business Central. I will add the record right here in the records property of the report. And if I click add, I can find the table and I will find the 4.5 file storage table. I usually I leave these, uh, uh, I leave the, the name the same as my table uh, name. In this case, I'm not. In this case, I'm going to call it terms because I may use other files in the Forna file storage, for instance, for, for a document watermark or for, an, uh, or for an extra logo. So if I name it terms, then at least it's really uh, clear what I mean with this particular Forna file storage. I will click OK. Then, of course, I need to get the data from the database. And to do that, I will use a bit of JavaScript in my own pre-report trigger. And in the OMPRI report trigger, it doesn't really matter where you add it. Uh, I usually add it after my 4 now file setup. You can add it at the, at the, at the end of this uh, bit of script or at the beginning, it doesn't matter. What I do is I do a terms.get. I need, I need to get my terms with the two keys I've provided. So I need to use terms and append. The next step is to calculate the content of my blob field. And for that, I will use a terms.calc fields data, so data stored in the data field. And that needs to be inside single quotes. So that calculates the content of the field. And finally, I want to append this PDF to the end of my report. And for that, I can open my current report and find my data items. I want to append a PDF terms and conditions after every after every header data item. So I will we'll open the header PDF and double click append. And in here, I need to specify the source of my PDF file, which is terms.data. And this is where you notice that naming my file storage table terms is really quite useful because now I do a terms.get terms.calc fields and I append my header with the PDF terms.data. So that's really readable and everybody will know exactly what you mean with this. So click OK. Click preview. And if I scroll down, you will notice my report has now been appended with my terms and conditions, uh, which is just a uh, a bit of rubbish text. Let's recap what we just did. 
The first thing we did is add a payment node to the 4NAV setup. Then we added a label with formatted text so we could use report variables in our payment terms. Finally, we added a terms and conditions PDF file to the 4NAV file storage table, and we appended that to our report using JavaScript. You can use any type of data link you want for your file storage. Uh, another usage would be, for example, to use a different terms and conditions file per payment terms code. If you want to know more about using JavaScript in our 4NAV reports, please check out our guide on that topic. So, let's see if we have any questions. Uh, we do, but I need to... Vernon asks, will this work with BC14 on-prem? Yes, it will, Vernon, but you'll need to upgrade your report pack to the, to the latest version. Since we have no more questions, I will wrap up this webinar. If you do have a, another questions, please, question, please let us know. Uh, you can still type it in the, in the question box and I will answer it later on. If you want to know more about 4NAV, please visit 4NAV.com. Um, if you want to download the designer, uh, the 4NAV designer, you can do so from 4NAV.com slash download. And if you want to use 4NAV in Business Central Cloud, you can install it from the Microsoft App Source. If you want to watch more of these Coffee Break videos or any other video about 4NAV, please visit our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions uh, after this webinar, please email them to support at 4NAV.com. Of course, we will continue our 4NAV coffee break formats. If you have, uh, you can find those, uh, the upcoming and recorded ones at 4NAV.com slash coffee break. And if you have any topics for a future 4NAV coffee break, please let us know. And uh, if we do a coffee break about your topic, you will win two prizes. The first one is coffee break about your topic. And the second one is a 50 euro or US dollar gift certificate as a thank you. With that, there's no further questions. So thank you very much for listening and I will speak to you in the next coffee break. Goodbye.